My name is Lauren Tomolkowski, and for this assignment, I have decided to discuss the topic of how the media affects adolescents and its contribution to eating disorders. These past few weeks, we have been discussing discrimination, prejudice, racism, and inequality, and the effects each has on people. Throughout my research, I not only found the contributions that media has towards eating disorders, but it also has a massive effect on how adolescents perceive one another and the prejudice that body image issues has caused while contributing to the discrimination of one another. Eating disorders are an epidemic in today's society, and this issue is generating at a very young age. It is known that most eating disorders are a way of pursuing an ideal body image, one that is portrayed as beautiful within the media, but can prove to be detrimental to the health of many adolescent children. Eating disorders are persistent eating habits that impact the body and one's health negatively. Many situations are forms of controlled eating due to the desire of being thin or the fear of being overweight. It has been proven that young women are more likely to struggle with eating disorders than boys. By the time of adolescence, the ratio of girls with eating disorders to boys changes to about 10 to 1. Girls are also known to have lower self-esteem and body image issues, and the media has a huge effect on this with their focus on weight, body shape pressures for women, and the ideal body. It has been evident throughout society with the impact that media has on children's views and beliefs on eating healthy and body image. The skewed portrayal of beautiful within the media is the main cause of these young women battling with themselves to reach those physical aspirations. This issue causes prejudice within these young women due to the preconceived opinion by the media about what it takes to be beautiful, which in return causes further discrimination just because someone doesn't look a certain way, therefore causing the beginnings of the constant struggle to be beautiful and in many cases the beginning of an eating disorder. When children start to see the repetitive images of young women on TV, magazines, and the internet that are very thin, they, and many others, begin to obsess about their body image. It starts to instill a fear. This is a fear of gaining weight. This is the most popular in adolescence because of the ability to compare one another. Children can be cruel to each other and tease each other about things that may not seem that important, such as weight or size, but for the child being teased, this could be the final push towards skipping their next meal or purging. The fear of gaining weight can be dealt with in many ways, such as resorting to disorder-like symptoms, excessive exercise, reduced eating, and much more. This fear is not healthy for a child to have. Little do they know, almost all images in the media are digitally enhanced and photoshopped to create a look that is considered beautiful, but false. Today, more and more celebrities are fortunately coming forward with their body image issues, as well as many speaking out against the action of being photoshopped and embracing their natural beauty. Companies and photographers have been forced to undo the editing and enhancing the photos and release the original image. These women like Kira Knightley, Colby Calloway, Lady Gaga, Meghan Trainor, Beyonce, and so many more are the beginning of a generation that supports who they are and how they look. By doing so, they show young women that they are perfect just the way they are. As a young woman, I firsthand understand the struggle that comes with trying to keep up to date with current fashion trends, beauty regimens, and the constant battle with body image and weight, due to the media's prejudice, which in return affects how to feel and think about oneself. I know I am not alone in this fight, and I would never wish it upon the younger generations of women to come. Media companies need to become more aware of the effects they are having on the young people in this world and how it can affect their lives, as well as people needing to be more aware of the consequences they can have on another person's life, and by supporting one another, we can change things.